USS Caldwell, DD-605, was a Benson-class destroyer in the United States Navy during World War II. She was named for James R. Caldwell. Caldwell was launched January 15, 1942 by Bethlehem Steel Corporation, San Francisco, California, sponsored by Miss A. Caldwell, and commissioned June 10, 1942. Lieutenant Commander J.F. Newman, Jr., in command. Service history. On September 11, 1942, Caldwell turned her bow northward from San Francisco and joined the screen of an illusions-bound convoy. For the next nine months the destroyer battled foul weather as she shepherded shipping and cruised with TG-8.6 in unrewarded search for the enemy in Alaskan waters. Her guns pounded onto twice in preparation for the assault which would recapture that American outpost. When soldiers of the 17th and 32d Infantry stormed ashore on May 11, 1943, they were covered to the southward by Caldwell and the other ships of TG-16.6. With Octa taken, the destroyer returned to convoy escort. Caldwell sailed in the screen of the force which carried reinforcements to Kiska, Alaska on August 16, 1943, the day after the first landings on that rugged island. Caldwell left the fog, mists, and cold of the Aleutians behind in September 1943 and steamed south to join TF-15 for the 18th of September airstrikes which destroyed half of the enemy airplanes on Tarawa. Action followed thick and fast for the next month as the destroyer joined TF-14, the largest fast carrier force yet organized, in blasting Wake Island. Caldwell bombarded Peel and Wake Islands and screened aircraft carriers launching air attacks against those islets. The destroyer's next mission found her covering LSDs in the follow-up to the invasion of Mackin, Gilbert Islands. Her charges safely delivered on 21 November, Caldwell took station on anti-submarine and air defense patrol for the next week. A well-earned rest came in the form of duty escorting a San Francisco-bound convoy. After a brief overhaul, the destroyer returned to action with TF-52 in the invasion of Kwajalein and Majuro January 31, 1944. During the continual maneuvering, characteristic of carrier task forces, Caldwell and White Plains collided, the destroyer remained with the task force another week then returned to Pearl Harbor for repairs. At sea again, Caldwell joined TF-58 in the Palau Yapu Lithi Wuliai raids, 30th March to 1st April, strikes on New Guinea in support of army landings on that island, 22-24 April, and the Truxatawa and Ponape raids, 29th April to 1st May. She remained on patrol in the Marshall Islands until mid-August when she sailed to Pearl Harbor for much-needed upkeep. Caldwell's next assignment sent her by way of Ulithi and Manus to screen convoys supplying the forces which had landed in the Philippines. On 11th of December, Caldwell had a near-miss with a kamikaze, and the next day, while escorting landing craft to Ormuk Bay, she bore the brunt of the air attack. Hit on the bridge simultaneously by a kamikaze and fragments from a two-bomb straddle. The destroyer suffered 33 killed and 40 wounded including the commanding officer. Despite the heavy damage, Caldwell's after guns continued to fire on enemy planes, while her damage control party saved the ship. Temporary repairs made at San Pedro Bay, Philippines, fitted Caldwell for the voyage to San Francisco where she was again put in fighting trim. April 1945 saw the destroyer once more in her familiar role as convoy escort, this time in support of the invasion of Tarakan, Borneo. Caldwell bombarded Tarakan, 11-12 May, then moved to cover the minesweeping operations off Brunei Bay. Here, on 27 June, she detonated an influence-type mine, but escaped with moderate damage and no casualties. After temporary repairs at Victoria, Australia, she sailed to San Pedro Bay, P.I., for final repairs. She was there when hostilities ended. Escort of landing craft convoys to Okinawa and Leyte followed in September and October 1945. After a visit to Tokyo Bay, Caldwell returned to the States, she was placed out of commission in reserve at Charleston, South Carolina, on April 24, 1946. She was struck May 1, 1965 and sold for scrap on November 4, 1966. Awards Caldwell received eight battle stars for service in World War II.